y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm here with another video today we're going to be reviewing the new dior face and um body powder um i just picked this up today in store from sephora i picked up the shade 6n but i did order the shade 5n from act the actual dior website um once i seen they had this in store at sephora today i'm so impatient i decided to go in the store and pick it up instead of waiting even though i know i already ordered one but when I went in store, they did not have the shade five in. It was sold out, so I decided just to go with six in. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that this works. What it looks like. Um, I wish it came with a mirror. I feel like that's the only thing that's missing. This does retail for forty dollars, and I believe there's about ten shades. Um, I know it's not a lot of shades. I believe it's about ten, and all of the shades have a neutral undertone so i'm gonna read a little bit about this powder translucent powder that reduces shine sets makeup and warm up the complexion it also blurs imperfection reduce shine compact powder infused in a gel base apply seamlessly on the skin for a natural non-powdery effect even after multiple touch-ups so that's like right up my alley because i love having the pressed powder with me being that i'm oily to touch up when i'm starting to look too shiny but anyway y'all let's just get right into this review um, foundation i do have the new dior um natural nude foundation um i did a whole review on this last week i'll link it somewhere like in the cards or below for concealer i'm going to use my dior um forever concealer this is one of my favorite ones and i have my favorite concealers i mean i have the shade um 4.5 in so i'm gonna just go in with that and i don't never put a lot of concealer on so y'all ignore my dirty sponge um, I wish this came with a mirror, but it does not come with one. I'm gonna just take my brush in there and set underneath my under eye. And okay, y'all, this does not show up at all. This is definitely a translucent powder. Okay, y'all, this is what it is looking like after I, um, I set my concealer with it. I like it so far. So now I'm gonna just go over my entire face with this powder. This is what my face is looking like after letting the powder settle into my skin for a couple minutes. And I really wanted to see, would it crease under my under eyes? And as you can see, it did not. So that's the automatic. 10 for me i really like this powder just off of one use um this really does blurs like your skin um my pores does not look visible i really don't even look i don't um, look shiny at all it looks matte um this is not heavy it doesn't feel too drying on the skin either this is not keep in mind this is not like a foundation powder so don't expect coverage this is just to set your makeup and reduce shine so don't expect like okay this is going to give you like a powder foundation type of look this is not what that is this is i feel like perfect for somebody who's oily and you like to touch up your makeup throughout the day this would be perfect for that i could see myself using this throughout the day especially like when i'm at work and i'm starting to look too shiny and i want to touch up my face this would be perfect um, when i get the shade five in in the mail i'm actually going to exchange it and i'm going to use i want to exchange it for like a lighter shade just to use under my under eye area but overall as far as like setting the rest of my face i feel like uh six in was the perfect choice i'm not mad at it i feel like this would be this was the better um match for me instead of five in even though when five in come i might play with it a little bit and see if i like that but overall i'm really loving this powder i would highly highly recommend y'all picking this up especially if you have oily skin i feel like if you have oily skin you need this like this is a must you need it even though i think somebody with dry with normally with dry skin would probably like it as well um i'm not going to do a eight hour wear test on this because this like i said is not a powder foundation and on top of that i really don't have the time to like do an eight hour wear test today i'm sorry y'all but if my opinion of this powder change i would definitely keep y'all updated so yeah that's my thought on this powder on a scale of one to ten i give it a ten like that's how much i like it and y'all know i don't be liking everything that i try but i really really do like this so yeah that is it y'all for today's video so don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye